Should I go clean the pool? Nah. Go build a rifle. Okay, there we are. The Aero Precision Lower pistol build. She does not look like she's in the mood. Back to the build. So, we're gonna do it like this. We're just gonna build it. Okay, there you have it. The AR pistol chambered in 5.56. We've got a Palmetto State collapsible brace on that. We have a Sylvan Arms Folding adapter. We have a Aero Precision lower. Magpul K2 grip. Comp mag fixed magazine because it's New York State compliant. We're using a no name ambidextrous charging handle. Magpul rear sight. Sight mark reflex sight. We got a Magpul front sight. The upper is pre-assembled from uh, Bear Creek Arsenal. Got a no-name hand stop right there and a Surefire X300 light. So, take it to the range, we'll shoot it and uh, look at it a little bit more. It's the AR pistol build with folding stock. Yes, from Sylvan Arms. Go over it quick has a sight mark reflex sight. We got mag pull rear and front sights. We have a surefire light on the front. We have a hand stop. It has a regular uh, key mod hand guard on it. Collapsible brace. We have the Magpul K2 grip kind of changes the angle a little bit more than a standard grip. It makes it a little bit uh, more natural for a pistol hold. Then we have, because it is a New York Safe compliant pistol, it's a comp mag, fixed magazine, does not remove. But you do load it. We'll go over that quick again. And like I said, it's got the Sylvan Arms folding adapter. Now, I sighted it in already. Shoots fantastic. I'm real happy about it. But let's go over the folding brace quick and the cop mag, and then we'll shoot it some more. Look at that. Whole AR pistol. Look at the knapsack. How's that for concealability? An AR 15. Seven and a half inch barrel, folding pistol brace. Okay, it's the Sylvan Arms folding stock or pistol brace adapter. Uses a standard receiver extension. It's a simple one button press to fold it. It's just held in there by a little bit of tension. Again, this is just for storage and concealability. Anytime you have this out of wherever you're storing it or concealing it, you should have it closed, the adapter, because the bolt extension, which allows this to fold, is just held in there snug in the back of the bolt. There's nothing really holding it in. It's not made to be carried or lugged around in the open. 
because I guess this could get snagged on something and feasibly get lost, which then you're SOL, but if you keep it closed, you don't lose it. Again, it's just for storage, but it's very nice. It's very well made. Okay, the comp mag, which allows this pistol to be New York safe compliant. It's a fixed magazine. It does not come out of the receiver. It's locked in there good. The follower, you push down by this thumb wheel on there and locks into the bottom. That drops the follower down. You open up the door. You load your 10 rounds, close it, and release the follower, and you're ready to go. Now this does have a last round hold open. It does also hold the bolt open, obviously when there's nothing in it. But you can see there. So very nice. I mean, hey, it works. It, it, it allows it to, to be New York Safe Act compliant. So very nice. Let's load it and shoot it. Okay, I'm going to drop the follower, lock it in. I'm going to open the door, start loading 10 rounds. One. Close the door. Release the follower, charge it, and you're hot. That's interesting. Not sure how to deal with that one. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened there. Weapon's clear. So, there's a little bit of play in that very minute. It's not something that feels like it should have blasted out unless I hit my thumb as I was shooting my Maybe the heel of my palm on the little tab that opens it. I have to go back and look at the footage to see what that was all about. But I really don't think it should have opened like that. And I'm pretty sure if it opened it was on the bolt going forward. Because I think it would have been a whole different issue if it was on the bolt going back. But we'll check out the footage and we'll see what that was all about. Wow, that was a lot of fun to shoot. Once I figured out the issue with the collapsible brace opening up, it was easy a 300 round day. Ultimately, the problem with that issue was it's an Bear Creek Arsenal upper and an Aero Precision lower. The two, when made it together, had a slight amount of play in it. Well, that play was enough to allow the bolt while going forward to slightly move left or right, just enough play. That play was enough to hit the bolt stop on the Sylvan Arms adapter. That bolt stop is connected to the latching mechanism and the latching mechanism ma managed to open up the folding stock. But luckily, the Aero Precision lower, it has that upper receiver tensioner. I think that's what it's called. I'm not even sure what the proper name of it is 
but it's basically the set screw that's on the bottom of the lower receiver. You tighten it up and it puts a little bit of tension on the upper receiver just to tighten it up. And that, boy, let me tell you, there's no more flex in that. So what a great gun to shoot. A lot of fun. Practability, not much for me. My area in the country, it's not really practical to have a truck gun like this. Uh, first of all, I'm right on the border of another state. I find myself in another state a couple of times a day sometimes. So to throw this in the truck and call it a truck gun, I'd have to constantly remove it from the truck, store it, going to the state that's right across the border and come back. So it's just, it's not, 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 it's just not practical. Another reason, and probably the biggest reason it's not practical, is there's no detachable magazine. I mean, don't even have to explain that, right? But still fun, still a lot of fun. The sight, sight mark, reflex sight, worked great. The surefire light, that's fantastic, I love that. Still, it's a fun gun. It's a fun gun with a collapsible pistol brace. How can you beat that, huh? One thing I did pick up on is if you are worried about losing the bolt extension and you have the K2 grip, the K2 grip has storage, and it holds the bolt extension. So this way, when you're storing the weapon, I mean, you're not gonna quick deploy it. Obviously that defeats the purpose if you wanna quick deploy it and you gotta fumble around to get the extension. But if you're storing it a long time and you keep it at collapse, and you don't wanna lose the bolt extension, it fits right into the grip. That works out perfect. Because remember that bolt extension just fits in there with a little bit of friction. So anyway, great gun. It was a lot of fun to shoot. Seven and a half inch barrel gets dirty very easily. Pick up, ugh, this is horrible. This thing needs to be cleaned. But yeah, works great. Mag pull rear sight, very odd. I'm assuming it's because of the short barrel, but look how far I, over I had to move that sight just to get it sighted in for 50 yards. So that's pretty far over to the left. I don't know, maybe it's the short barrel, who knows. But yeah. AR pistol build. Very, very cool. A lot of fun. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care.